Miss Diana Ross. Thank you. I'm uh, very privileged to be here tonight and also privileged because I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He was a man of vision and dedication and an inspiration for millions around the world. It is an honor to be a part of this tribute to him, celebrating his life, his birth on, his, on this holiday, recognizing his everlasting contribution to human dignity equality and freedom. He was a preacher, a teacher. This reluctant hero left a mighty legacy. In his crusade for civil rights and justice for all Americans, he helped us to see our common humanity and reminded us that the brotherhood of man transcends all differences. He raised our level of understanding and the power of nonviolence, and in doing so, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. inspired us to seek always the excellent way to bring about change. He encouraged us to have faith that America could live up to its ideals and promises. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Liberty and justice for all. This man of enormous courage and commitment was struck down at the age of 39 in 1968. Also called, he also called Americans to look at the suffering beyond our borders, reminding us that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. We shall overcome because Carlisle is right. No lie can live forever. We shall overcome because William Cullen Bryant is right. Truth crushed to earth will rise again. We shall overcome because James Russell Lowell is right. Truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne. Yet that scaffold sways the future. It is with this faith we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our cities into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood this faith, we will be able to speed up the day, as I say so often, when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands all over this nation and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Thank you. Today is Martin's day. I would like to sing. Happy birthday. He was indeed the pride of our nation, and I am very honored to have been invited to, to salute this great American leader, this weapon of love, this testament of hope, who moved us into brighter freedom. 